Like the proper degenerate that I am, I use NeoVim inside of VS Code. But I had this disk corruption issue a handful of weeks ago, and it, it totally nuked my setup. And I forgot that I'd never actually committed my NeoVim config into my config files. And I figured if you're looking for an equally degenerate setup, you might want to follow along. Excuse my voice because I'm just sick as a dog right now. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so on the left, I have the VS Code NeoVim extension open. This is the one that I use. And on the right, we have the NeoVim documentation. Now, I've already run through the install. Installation. I have NeoVim on my system. And if we go into VS Code settings under the NeoVim executable path, I don't have anything particularly special going on. Now, just with those two settings, um, NeoVim is working and I can you know, make my selections, delete, whatever. Now, a plugin that I've used in Vim for forever is Surround. This was originally authored by T Pope, but there is a Lua fork of it. Now, there's also this mini Surround. And this is what TJ has set up inside of Kickstart NeoVim. Now, I don't have enough experience to say which one's better or worse. I have heard that the mini grouping of plugins is an amazing place to start. But again, surround is just baked into my muscle memory. So let's open this up in a new tab and then head back to the NeoVim documentation. Now it's been a while, so I don't actually know what I'm looking for. I think that there was a document on configuring with Lua. Let's see this Lua guide maybe? Yeah, here it is. Now, no matter what, we're going to have a .config slash nvim slash init. I'll probably use Lua. So let's make that file. nvim init dot Lua. So the next thing I know I want to do is install some plugins and I'm going to go to kickstart.invim for some inspiration, opening the init.lua and look for manager. Yes. So this is the code to initialize the package manager, uh, which I'm going to just copy and paste into my init Lua. And there should also be a setup, I believe. Yes. So we have a uh, require lazy and then uh, install all of these packages. This is mentally confusing to me as a JavaScript dev that I think this is like a list or something like that. So uh, from there, we're going to go to the package that we pulled out, the Kyle Chewy, reformat that so it's all in one line, save. Now with this in place, we should be able to open up a terminal and run nvim to see nvim or surround and lazy install, which is great. Q to quit. Now if I do yank surround inner, oh, no. Nope. Okay, that didn't work and I didn't see any installation doc. Let's ask perplexity. Okay, so perplexity says that we need to uh, put this in here and I think we put the whole I think we put that whole thing inside of those curly braces which kind of breaks my brain a little bit but I think that's right I don't really care about the version so let's see if I can get away without that and it looks like we're just doing an empty setup I don't know why that's necessary but it looks like it is so let's run nvim again let's type a word thanks around in a word oh and it works yes okay cool now the question is can we get that same result in vs code code. Change surround double quotes to single quotes. That didn't work. So let's try restarting. Go back to our quotes, change surround double quotes, single quotes. Yes. All right, so we got the config we need. There's one last thing that I remember that I had that I'd like to install again. Uh, is there a block condition that would allow me to run one group of plugins only in VS Code and another in Terminal NeoVim? And yes, I think this is what I had before. We assign this condition to a variable and we can then use that condition to exclude things uh, if we don't want them in VS Code. Things that wouldn't make sense inside of a VS Code editor like Telescope or possibly something like LazyGit. Okay, so I have my VS Code at NeoVim set up back in order. I will definitely remember to commit it this time. I guess that's it. It's time for me to blow my nose again and take another nap probably. See ya.